Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of UA Eats. I'm UA, and I'm at the most fun restaurant that I know, Kuda Revolving Sushi Bar in Jersey City, New Jersey. Now, many of you may know what Revolving Sushi is, but to those of you who don't know, Revolving Sushi, also known as Conveyor Belt Sushi, aptly named, is basically sushi served on, you guessed it, a conveyor belt that basically goes around the whole restaurant. It's basically like a mechanized buffet where you can grab whatever you want. Now, conveyor belt sushi was originally invented in Japan as a way to save money on staffing costs. However, customers found the format itself pretty fun and a great experience. And also revolving sushi tends to be cheaper and more family friendly and less stuffy than normal sushi places. So for that reason, revolving sushi is extremely common in Japan. There are thousands of conveyor belt sushi joints in Japan. One of the biggest chains, Kudao Revolving Sushi, has opened a location here in Jersey City. Now this place hasn't been open for that long, only a few months, but it's already crazy popular. For my table, I had to wait an hour and a half. Luckily though, it's located in a very convenient location right outside the Newport Mall, so I burned a lot of time doing some shopping and uh, replacing the Adidas hat that I lost last time. Anyways, you guys are in for a treat. It's a lot of fun eating here, so let's go check it out. All right, guys, we're here inside Kuda Sushi, revolving sushi bar. This is basically like an automated sushi buffet. The sushis are coming and going, and it's just up to you to grab whatever's there. But first, let's order some water. And check this out, guys. Drinks are delivered by robot here. Wow, thank you. Domo arigato, Mr. Roboto. Uh, all right, let's get some sushi. Now, just like I mentioned, this is basically like a revolving buffet. Although unlike a buffet, it's not like you pay and you eat as much as you want. Every plate here is 375, so you basically pay as you go. If you see something you like though, as you can see by these uh, empty ones, uh, you gotta act fast because you can't expect that it's gonna be there when it comes around. All right, tuna, a tried and true. Let's just grab one of these. My personal favorite, salmon. It may be basic, but it's a tried and true. Yellowtail is a good one as well. And these are some generous looking yellowtail slices. Oh, Toro, fatty tuna. The basically the ribeye steak of sushi. Gotta have this. Negi Toro, can't miss this one either. Octopus, we gotta try this. This one is interesting, a booty salmon with miso cream cheese. Let's try one of these. A booty eel with miso cream cheese. I love me some unagi Japanese eel. All right guys, we got a wonderful feast of sushi. We got a huge buffet in front of us. Let's just dig into this, why don't we? First off, tuna. Dip that in the soy sauce. Tuna, a tried and true. Mmm, mmm, excellent, really, really good. Now I'm gonna be honest, is this the best sushi you're ever gonna have? Probably not. Is it gonna be better than the best sushi restaurant in your city if you live in a big city? Probably not, but that's not what it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be affordable sushi where you can access a variety of flavors, basically a moving buffet in a family-friendly environment. And it's supposed to be a lot of fun. That being said, it's still a Japanese sushi chain, so it's still gonna be pretty good. Let's do the next tried and true. Let's do salmon next. Mmm. I love salmon sushi. Salmon sushi is my favorite, even though it's kind of like the most basic sushi fish. I just love the taste of salmon and I love the color of salmon. The salmon here, I will say, it's not the best salmon sushi I've had. I think it's a little bit lean for my taste and it could also stand to be cut a little bit thicker. I feel like I'm eating like a lot of rice and I'm not really soaking in that nice, delicious, fresh salmon flavor. It's delicious, it's salmon sushi, but it's not exactly gonna be like Michelin star quality sushi. I mean, it's still very average quality salmon and it's not the freshest fish out there, but it's still pretty good. Next, let's try yellowtail. Mmm. Oh, I like yellowtail a lot. I've kind of come around. I used to not really like those white sushi fishes. I don't know, because I used to feel like salmon and tuna were much stronger in flavor. The yellowtail, I always thought was like, I don't know, it kind of just tastes like very bland and kind of flavorless, but this yellowtail is pretty good. I mean, at the end of the day, this is still a Japanese chain, so the sushi is only gonna be so bad. It's still pretty good by most US standards. So this yellowtail, it's so soft, it kind of like melts in your mouth almost, and it's more like subtle in taste compared to like salmon 
salmon and tuna. It's not as like strong and meaty. Excellent. Let's switch it up a little bit with octopus. Hmm. Okay, so to be honest, um, I'm not the biggest fan of that one. Octopus and squid sushi, uh, I feel like it can be very hit or miss. I find that octopus and squid can be very chewy. I feel like for a sushi, you really want it to be like soft because the rice is gonna be a little bit harder naturally. So you want the fish to be soft so that it really complements the harder rice. Octopus and squid can be done well if the octopus and the squid is made to be very soft. If you've ever seen that documentary, Jiro Dreams of Sushi, you know all about that because Jiro made his apprentice massage the octopus and the squid for two hours a day just to make it soft. They definitely didn't do that with this octopus. It's a little bit tough and chewy, kind of like you're eating like an eraser on top of some rice. Uh, so this one isn't my favorite, but to each their own, just my take. Now let's move on to some of our cooked sushi pieces. Now this one is seared salmon with some cream cheese on top. It's kind of a myth that sushi always needs to be raw. You can have cooked foods on sushi. Actually, you can even have cooked pieces of steak on sushi, but I definitely I wanted to show you guys one of the seared salmon pieces. All right, seared salmon with cream cheese. Mmm. Oh. Wow, guys, I wasn't the biggest fan of the raw salmon piece, but the seared salmon, they cooked that perfectly. It had like some nice flavor from the grill, a bit of a smoky, charcoaly flavor, but it wasn't dried out. It wasn't too crispy. It was like soft on the inside with some fiery flavor from the cooking. Excellent. And the cream cheese was a good touch. The next cooked item, this is Japanese barbecue eel with also some cream cheese on top. And they're big fans of cream cheese here. I'm not sure why. Oh, man. Mm. Well, guys, you hear me talk about the clean plate club? I'm just cleaning like so many plates left and right. That barbecue eel, that sauce was just so amazing, so well balanced. It's sweet, it's sour, got that umami flavor. That eel is cooked perfectly. So far guys, most things have been great, except for the octopus so far, and the salmon was kinda all right. But so far, everything has been outstanding. All right guys, we're starting to get to the cream of the crop. We're down to our Toro sushis. We got Negi Toro, which is basically like minced tuna from unusable pieces of tuna. In this case, it's from the Toro, the fatty piece of tuna and we have our toro piece a slice of exquisite fatty tuna and we can't miss this this is the most expensive thing here and that's why they only give us one of them let's do negi toro first mm. Mm. oh toro pieces if you guys ever come here you gotta get toro pieces keep your eyes open for Toro or Neki Toro or both. I mean, I got both. The second best piece that we're gonna eat today, minced up fatty tuna. It was pretty excellent. Very fresh, melts in your mouth. It was like the most exquisite tuna salad you're ever gonna have. But now we're down to the best piece in the whole restaurant, the best piece in any sushi restaurant you're ever gonna go to, Toro, AKA fatty tuna. Mmm. Wow. Oh. It just melts in your mouth. And this is usually super pricey. At some places in Manhattan, one piece of Toro will cost like 10 or 15 bucks. Just one piece. Here, you're getting it for just 375. So guys, don't forget the Toro when you come here. I should mention that this place has pretty good hot foods as well. Udon, ramen, beef bowls, fried chicken. It's pretty good. It's just that that stuff doesn't come on the conveyor belt. You have to order it from the touch screen. So let's go. All right, as you can tell, this beef udon, it's not just a token menu on the item. Their hot foods are actually quite good, like ramen and udon. Let's just take a bite. Mmm. Oh. Oh yeah. The key to good udon is snappiness in the noodle. Basically, you want it to be chewy, but you want it to be chewy in like a snappy way. Kind of like if you've ever had good homemade Italian pasta, you might know what I mean. Like you want it to have like an al dente chew to it while not being too chewy. This is excellent. Ugh. And the broth is savory and rich. This is excellent. All right, the night is still young. Let's eat more sushi. Let's do another eel. Oh yeah, another Toro came. The sushi gods have answered my call. And Tamago, I really dig these Japanese egg omelets. Oopsies. 
All right, we may or may not have broken this egg tamago piece, so let's eat it real quick. Mmm, mmm. I really dig these Japanese style eggs. They kind of have like a sweetness to it. Now sweetness and eggs, that might sound weird to some people, but don't knock it till you try it. It's like an omelet sushi and it tastes great. And I already discussed these two, so nothing to it but to eat them. Mmm. 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 Oh. I swear guys, I will never ever get tired of eating Toro. I could eat Toro every day if I could afford it. The last thing I wanted to show you guys is what happens when you reach a plate threshold here. And this threshold can be reached regardless of how big your party is. If you eat 15 plates or more, you get like a cute little cartoon and you get a prize. So let me show you. All right, so we hit 15 plates, so we get a little prize. So let's see what we got. Yeah. It looks like our prize this time is a little Lego sushi kit, specifically a cucumber roll, it looks like. Now I got something to do in my free time. But anyways, guys, I think that's gonna be it for this video. I just wanted to show you guys one of the most fun restaurants that I know in the New Jersey, New York area. And yeah, it might not be the best sushi ever, but it's pretty good sushi and it's a fun atmosphere. It's a nice family-friendly atmosphere and the food overall tastes pretty good. I'm gonna eat a little bit more before I head out. If you like my videos, make sure you like and subscribe. That way you stay up to date whenever I post another video. If you've been to Cora before or another conveyor belt sushi place, let me know in the comments because great minds eat alike. Until next time, I'll see you later. Mm.